gathered here today um, for case management hearing on the Julian Assange extradition case. Um, it didn't look very well, he was wearing gloves, um, but because it's via video link, you can't really see close up his condition. He only spoke to say his name and his date of birth. Um, they discussed at length um, the case management uh, timetable uh, between the lawyers for the defence and also the Crown Prosecution Service. They agreed to postpone the second half, to split the extradition hearing in two parts. Part one from the week uh, commencing Monday the 24th of February at Belmarsh Magistrates Court, which is inside Woolwich Crown Court for one week and then resume for another three weeks, beginning the 18th of May, um, later on in spring. And the reason they had to do that was that they needed more time to prepare for the submission and examination of evidence. Uh, the issue of access to legals, to his lawyers, came up again, because this is a major factor in delaying um, receiving instructions from the client. Uh, that was the point of uh, the defence as well as the sheer volume of evidence that has to be submitted. And on the Crown Prosecution Service, the reason they put forward was delays with uh, reviewing the evidence, as well as the fact that the US prosecutor, representative of US uh, prosecutor, Mr. Lewis, I believe, is unavailable um, for part of that time due to another case in Northern Ireland uh, of a historic uh, case that he's dealing with it there. Um, the next administrative hearing in this court, Westminster Magistrates Court, will be on the 19th of February. And so we welcome everyone to yet again come and witness what's happening at court and hold a protest outside. And if there are any issues with the case management, it will be discussed then on the 19th of February.